guys, welcome to uh, my Monday evening stream. Uh, today is a holiday. Oh, wait, I've got to. There we go. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, today is a holiday in Canada. It is family day, so there's a lot of people here that didn't go to work and, um, and spent time with the families. Uh, I worked all day because when you own your own small business, that's what you do is you you work every day all day no matter what kind of day it is so tonight's stream i'm going to be working on the tetris quilt some more i'm going to be uh picking up where i left off yesterday well, a little bit farther but i worked on it a little bit today i made the decision of just making one instead of two and what that's going to do is it's going to let me actually finish one of the quilts <laughs> instead of having two unfinished ones i can actually have one that can bring a gen con with me and that was the the point of this is actually to have one at Gen Con. Um, today was pattern release day. So I released the um, God of Mischief, uh, inspired by, by uh, Loki, um, who is, you know, of course, you know, Norse mythology, um, Marvel Comics, all, all, all sorts of things. So the God of Mischief was released. So he is, he's out there. You can get him as a PDF download right now. Uh, you will be able to get him in paper form at Gen Con for me or at um, Dragon Con New York Comic Con. Uh, you can also, it will be found on Quilt Exchange probably in the next week. So if you want to order the paper copy there or if your store carries my patterns, make sure that they see that there's a new pattern that they can get uh, and they can go ahead and place that order for you. So if you can with my patterns, please, please, please support a local business. Um, the, it supports them and it supports me. I would rather um, take, get half the money and you know, support a local business. So please, please, please go to those local businesses um, and get the patterns there. So that being said, um, I did do a couple of more rows of the Tetris quilt. Uh, I was trying to get through all the rows so you didn't have to watch me do all of those, the big mass of black. That's gonna be pretty boring, but I didn't quite make it. Uh, because it was pattern release day, I didn't have a lot of time for sewing today. So I am just going to pick up where I left off and finish up these rows. I actually have all the rows laid out. And that first pass is done, so I just have to finish ironing, pinning, get the next pass done, and then start assembling rows. If you didn't watch the other Tetris quilt stream that I did, uh, this one is a little different than the one in the picture. The one in the picture is a three color Tetris quilt. This one is a two color. So it's just a touch bit easier. So I'm not gonna charge the same amount as I do for the three color. I'll have it just a little bit less. Um, but it's also gonna look a little bit differently. So the look's gonna be pretty cool. And as you can tell, my husband is home. You can hear his storytelling upstairs in the kitchen. If I'm able to get through this entire quilt tonight, I'm going to finish up the Ghostbusters commission that I have. And then if I still have some time, I will either work on the baby strip quilts or I will work on dice bags because I have um, Gen Con coming up next week. So I need some dice bags. I am running low. I'm doing the same technique as I did yesterday and actually sewing the rows because this is the final layout of um, the final rows. I'm actually sewing the pinned rows together 
after I finish off one of my passes. Oh, and I forgot to mention, because today is pattern release day, that means tomorrow is going to be pattern giveaway day. And of course, pattern giveaway day means that you can win the God of Mischief pattern that I released today. So if you want to win the Loki, um, the God of Mischief pattern, make sure that you keep an eye on my Facebook tomorrow. And comment with the thing I ask you to comment about. I haven't quite decided what I want yet. Normally I try to get ideas of what kind of quilts you want. something different. Instead of asking what kind of patterns you want to see, why don't I share love to um, quilting and sewing stores? So maybe if you tag your favorite um, quilting sewing store, that way people can see, oh, that's a cool store. Oh, I live near there. Let me go check that one out. That would support local businesses. Why well, may do that? So there's something about using a sewing machine that is very um, relaxing and cathargic for me. I'm able to think better when I'm sewing. A lot of times I get ideas for stuff while the sewing machine is running. Kind of like um, running water sometimes when you're in the shower. If you take a long shower sometimes, you'll get some good ideas. At least me. I like that. No capture card is coming tomorrow. I'm excited.
almost forgot. Uh, Lulu Moons, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. I, um, she, she or he followed me last night after my stream ended. I wanted to say thank you. Now the nice thing about the Tetris quilts that I make is that every single row is the same. Every single row has 10 pieces, five whenever they are pinned together. So it's not like uh, other quilts where each row may have a different number of pieces. It may be laid out differently. Never have to worry about that with this. Everything is the same. And as I, oh, hi, Aaron, Iron Bands, Graham, how are you? And I do double check. I go back and forth just to make sure that my, I'm laying everything out correctly. are going to get sewn together so I'm going to sew those at the same time for efficiency. I am working on the boring part of the Tetris quilt. And this is to the right. So Timmy, did I, I don't remember if I asked you yet or not, are you going to um, Houston at all for Quilt Market? Okay, I'm trying to work out my preliminary schedule of what I'm gonna do and where I'm gonna go, you know, all that lovely stuff. So I'm trying to figure out who I know that is going to be there for stuff that I'm gonna do that's not gonna be work-related. So like, who am I gonna go cry, you know, grab a bite to eat with? Who am I gonna go have a beer with? Stuff like that. to be left. Fantastic. I did that right. So I've got these seams to the right. I just have to, these are all black, so I have to make sure that all the seams are pointing in the same direction because I can always flip it back and forth. 
for the seams, you know, for when I place it in the quilt with the right row. Just, but while I'm piecing it, I just need to make sure the seams are all good. There we go, and then the last one. So I assume that, um, that your grandson has headed back home again? That's to the right. Oh, good. So he's still there. Fantastic. I was looking at some of the pictures that you're putting up on your Instagram of the um, of the cosplay stuff you're doing with him. That's really cool. If you guys get a chance before he leaves, um, my friend Amanda streams under, I think it's Cosplay Supplies Official is the stream. She does, um, oh, that's awesome. She does a lot of really cool uh, tutorials and stuff like that with Wardla and actually shows you how she does things. She's also the one that, um, that runs Wardla.com. What, um, what pattern did you get? Is it one of those McCall's one with the cosplay ones? Yeah, I'm sitting here dreading all, I don't know why I started thinking about it, but when the school year starts, that means that George is back in the robotics club and I've got to make bumpers for their robot this year. And I'm sitting here going, oh my gosh, I am going to dread doing that again. of time. Oh, that's cool. An 1870s boys coat pattern. That sounds so cool. I haven't heard of the pattern. See, I don't sew a lot of clothing. It um, scares me, honestly. It's very daunting for me to sew clothing. I haven't even tried it. So I don't know a lot of the pattern manufacturers. I haven't even heard of patterns of time. That's so cool. I was watching um, Nerd and Needle today. She was working on her cosplay dress. She's going to be Shell from Portal, and she's going to wear it for um, Dragon Con. So I'm watching her doing the do the patterning and the marking, and and I'm just like, 
You know, I bet I could probably figure it out if I put my, my mind to it and I really wanted to. But I think I get it into my, my own head that I don't have time <laughs> for some, to add something else to my plate. So, no, don't make any clothing, Tony. That's cool. Did you make clothing for yourself, for gifts, for commission? It was uh, one of the ladies in Nerd and Needle's channel today is coming out with her own pattern line for clothing next year. I thought that was pretty cool. And she showed us one of the dresses. I'm like, oh, that looks awesome. down here. Huh. Left my phone upstairs. I was going to text the kid and see if she can bring me uh, a coffee. For myself and my daughter. Me <gasps> That's awesome. See, part of me thinks that, you know what? That would be neat if my mom and I made all of my prom dresses and stuff. But then I think back, it's like, I was a bad, bad kid. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't. I don't think I would have liked it. it. I was a very, very rebellious child. Okay, so this one, the seams go to the right. That's cool. One of these days, when I'm not as busy. Can't yeah, write. I will learn. I actually have a whole stack of um, patterns. I was chatting with the one of the ladies from. Oh, the cat apparently knocked over my microphone. I apologize if I was a little muffled. There we go. Um, I was talking with one of the ladies from Simplicity about clothing and. So I've got. I've got a bunch of costume stuff. Easy skirts. These are a lot of the things here, like the easy skirt stuff. This is the stuff that she told me would be super easy to, to learn. And I'm like, oh, I can always, um, you know, use some of my, my nerdy fabric and make a skirt. More, more, of course, the old Agent Carter. More costumes, corsets, the um, petticoats, costume, skirts. Oh, this is a cool costume. I really like that one. Isn't that cool? By Simplicity? I'm like, that is so super neat. Like, but I would change the headpiece and the um, the shoulder pieces, and the the and the belt piece to Werbla. Like I don't know. Yeah, they use black craft foam sheets for everything. Yeah, so I would use Werbla for that. But yeah, but there's that one. Did I show you everything? Oh, and then cute little pocket stuff. So I've got lots of patterns. And then of course I picked up the Yaya Han McCall's bodysuit just because. So yeah, so I was ch chatting with the lady from Simplicity and about patterning and making clothing. And so she, she suggested a few easy things for me to get started with and I picked them all up. Yeah, I have no time. 
One of these days I will find time. To the left. So people that know how to quilt and sew clothing, I am super envious. Now then again, I didn't even learn how to use a sewing machine until 10 years ago. And I immediately took to quilting. Oh, let me get your opinion. So I'm going to be doing another giveaway tomorrow um, on my Facebook because today was pattern release day. So I'm doing a giveaway tomorrow and for the past couple of giveaways I've asked for a suggestion for my pattern line. So I'm going to do something different for this one. So I was, I was thinking of maybe like sharing your favorite notion or, or I was actually thought about this at the beginning of the stream um, tagging your favorite um, quilt or sewing store and then that way it maybe give more attention to small businesses I don't know I don't want them thinking that I want them tagged just to try to you know get my business you know that I want their business but it's more of a you know oh hey I live in the Chicago area the quilters trunk is a fantastic quilt store they happen to carry my patterns anyways. And, you know, if you're in the Chicago area, go check, you know, that's the one, you know, that I would tap. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I will. See, I keep going back and forth with it. And then here's the next one. And then, of course, Thursday, I'm doing a giveaway in the stream because I have reached a hundred followers. Yay! Uh-oh. Well, crap. I messed this one up. It's supposed to have two orange ones and not one. All right, let me go get my pieces that I had already put away. See, that's I should know better. I shouldn't put the extra pieces away for that second quilt. <sighs> one, two, three, four, five. This one right here. Seam ripper. See, this is what happens when I try to move fast during the day and I don't pay full attention to my pieces. I do a thread painted postcard at 100 follower increments. Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. I'm doing a um, pattern of your choice. So on Thursday, I'm going to give away a pattern of your choice. Those postcards are so cool. Do you limit it to just North America or do you do it for the whole world? Okay, this one. Because I was thinking at 300, because at 200, I'll do another pattern. At 300, I was thinking of doing a quilt kit. Hey, 
Hey, Doug, how are you? Okay, so... You know what? I'm going to do it to this one first. They are going to the right. Okay, making sure my seams are all the right way. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. See, because that's what I was thinking for the quilt kit. Um, what am I going to do with that? If Because it's a little bit heavy. I was, I'm like, do I limit it to just North America? Do I want to limit it to the world? Yeah, I don't know. Lots of things I've got to... Oh yes, it's Monday. It's actually a holiday here in Canada. So, the husband and kid have been home most of the day. We've been driving each other crazy. the little icons on the left that just popped up. So this is all stuff that I have to decide that's new for me. Like, I even had to research to how I can do giveaways. And it's really cool. It's a really cool little um, uh, plugin that I put into the stream, so all I have to do is click on the little plug-in and it'll randomly pick someone. So you just have to, the rules that I put was that you have to be a follower, um, subscribers get five extra uh, entries, and you have to say something in chat between the hours that I say, and then you have to be in the chat at the time that I do the drawing. And then that way I can immediately get their info, I can send it to them, I can, I can do all that stuff. So, and then I'll do the drawing I'm going to do tomorrow for the um, God of Mischief pattern. I'll do it first, first thing on Thursday at 1 o'clock, and then I'll do the drawing for followers at 2 o'clock. Do so it should go to the right and then to the left. I'm not putting you away, I'm just setting you aside. Stay. So to the right and then to the left. I'm doing the last four rows, which are all just black. I just had to make sure that the seams are all pointing in the right direction. I'm really looking forward to fall market because I want to give more stuff away for people there. <laughs> That's fun when I do that.
You know, it's funny because I've had jelly beans the last two streams. I'm craving jelly beans now. I'm like, I kind of want jelly beans. When I go sew some more, I'll get, I'll take some, I'll get some jelly beans because I'm craving them. Yeah, the trick with these black ones, because I kind of did them out of order a little bit, is I have to make sure they're going to follow along with what I'm doing. So it has to go to the right first and then to the left first. If I don't put them in the right order, my seams are not going to line up and it's going to be all wonky. So Doug, anything interesting happened since uh, we chatted last night? <laughs> Interesting? No. I like that. <laughs> That's funny. to my favorite part of making the quilts, which is assembling the rows. And like I mentioned yesterday evening, um, I'm going to change this up a little bit. Instead of doing, um, instead of doing it like I've got the picture where I just did a gray around the edge, I'm going to try to make it look more like the game. And I'm going to do a small white border around, and then I'm going to do a, a larger black. I think that'll frame it nicely. See, that's so much better. Oh. Wait, and I promised myself jelly beans. I think I deserve some jelly beans after that one. classes almost sold out super excited about that I put the cap at 12 people a class and there are two classes 
my Thursday morning uh, basic paper piecing class and my Friday evening Catan class that have six spots left, so I mean six people signed up. My Friday morning paper piece. Is it Friday morning? Yeah, no, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, my Friday morning Catan class, and then my Thursday morning, no, no, Thursday morning at 10, and then Friday evening at 5, there's six spots left. At the, my Friday at 10 a.m., my Friday morning has one spot left, and then my Sunday morning has four spots left. No, this is um, Gen Con. So Gen Con's the uh, Indianapolis one. Remember that we were talking about before that one of these years you're gonna go? I don't teach class. New York is so stressful. I don't do anything except for sell things. Like I don't make plans to go to any parties. I don't do anything except for just show up and sell kind of stuff. Yeah, this is Gen Con's next next week. The night the really cool thing about Gen Con I know I've told you about Gen Con before many times. But the coolest thing about it is you can actually take classes and teach classes. So if you what's the website? GenCon.com? Yeah, GenCon.com. If you just go to GenCon.com and and just look at some of the classes they have of course sewing classes that's what I'm teaching um, so Jordan is taking a um, special effects makeup class um, she's taking some drawing classes we're gonna do the Artemis um, what else are we doing oh she's making a lamp she's making a table lamp she's making a um, steampunk mini little hat she is there's all sorts of really cool things that we're doing Last year, her and Mike took a, um, a puppet making class from a Sesame Street puppeteer. I mean, how cool is that? So it's, yeah. So Gen Con's not just about the tabletop gaming, although you could fill your whole weekend with just the tabletop gaming. That's right, oh, wait, I skipped one. And this is the last one, and then I can start doing them. So, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so there's ten total. I did do two pieces for two quilts, so I already have the pieces for this. So whenever I sell this quilt, it won't take me long to put together the second one. I think that's a better way than making two now and then stressing myself out if I'm going to have enough time to do other things before Gen Con next week. And then 
there's the last one okay let's go on to my favorite step so I'm gonna take these two at a time just like I did yesterday with the pixel eater quilts Oops. can't have it sitting on there it is not big enough And the two color blocks, all I did was the pinwheel method, but I didn't take it an extra step. My Tetris quilts are twin sized, so they fit a twin size bed. Hi, Cornish Miss Saucy. How are you? I am doing fantastic. My drawing for the um, pattern of your choice is going to be Thursday at 2 p.m. So I know you're leaving tomorrow, but I tried to make it as a time that you can pop in and possibly win. Yeah, no, I saw that. I think it was, yeah, it was either Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, I saw that you were having, it was sun, It was Saturday. I saw that you were having Twitch internet issues. But, so I was trying to figure out a time that would be good for you so that if you wanted to, you could pop in and possibly win that pattern. So, but even though I know you're going to France, hopefully you can pop it on your phone. See, you don't, you don't have the app on your phone. You can just like pop in at like 2.50, make a comment, hang out for a bit. And when at 1.50, okay, uh, come make a comment, hang out for a bit. Then at 2 o'clock when I do the drawing, then you can go back and see your brother. Oh, dang it. That sucks. Okay, so at 200 followers. Hopefully you can get that one. At least... Uh, the, did you see the pattern release I did today? Okay, so because I released a pattern today, I am also doing a contest through Facebook. So tomorrow I will put something up telling me, you know, comment on X, Y, or Z. You know, tell me this, this, or this. And then you get a chance to win a pattern. So even though I'm giving that away on Thursday, you don't have to be present to win. You can always just message me whenever you get home if you're the one that, uh, that won.
I like that compliment. Thank you. I'm glad you think he looks handsome. We were trying to give him a pose that made him mischievous, but at the same time regal, kind of. Marley, the kitty cat does not want to play with you. No, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I know I love you too. Oh, Marley. I don't know what in oh I'm like what's an invisible cat <laughs> yes she was there she jumped down to eat and to tease the dog I'm sure she'll get back up in her perch because she cooperates a lot better than the dogs do oh that's so funny is that the invisible cat I'm like are you talking about what I'm sewing and what yeah and then I got it today he hasn't had any episodes any issues hasn't been hiding at all it's funny it's um i'm so funny <laughs> he's been um hiding a lot in the bottom of the cat tree so he's actually been hiding in like the little area under the cat tree so i think because of that he's actually doing a lot better because he has a place that is completely secure that he feels safe. And this one I almost messed up. I almost put, you know, I'm gonna move this over. There we go, that's what I want. I almost put this blue block, I almost flipped this. I could so see Alfred doing that. Oh, I don't know if I've ever told you guys what Alfred does. So, he, so here he's a um, Chihuahua Papillon mix. When we brought him home, now I've never had a Chihuahua before. And apparently they like to burrow under all of the blankets. Yes, I'm talking about you. It's something to do with like, they just like being covered. So when we first brought him home, he used to burrow under the quilt that we keep on the couch. And my husband almost sat on him a few times because we didn't know he was there. So now we have two pillows that we put on the couch and we prop them up and then put a blanket up on the pillows and then he burrows in that so we know where he is at all times. 
Yeah, I don't know what it is with, um, with chihuahuas. Like, and I swear, you know how he likes me to pick him up and cuddle with him? The whole day. Like, I have been so busy this entire day, the whole day, he keeps coming over to me. Pick me up. Pick me up. And he's looking at me right now, like, I'm gonna pick me up. Hi. Come here. Come here. Alright. Oh, here, come here, Marley. Let's put you on the chair so you can sit. Good boy. See, he's learned. Oh, Marley, I wanted you on the chair while I left him so you guys could both be in the picture. I know. Thank you. Oh, you don't want me to cuddle with you. You want a, you want a treat? Oh, you want a T-R-A-T? Yes, he does. Is that, oh, okay, that's what he wants. Okay. All right, guys. Here's Marley and Alfred. Like, seriously, at least four or five times a day. At one point, when I was working on the computer, I had to hold him in one arm while I tried to work on the computer with the other arm. These are things we do for our dogs, right? Just like your dog has you trained. You put all the blankets back. Because I'm sure they like to spread them all out again. Jordan. Oh, I guess she can't hear me. <laughs> no, exactly. We love being uh, trained by our animals. You know what? I have a very busy home. Oh, oh, here comes a third one. I guess one of them tattled. But she wasn't here, so she doesn't get it. Because if I give her one, then I'll have to give the other two another one. And they've had a lot today. Have a fantastic evening, Doug. Thanks for hopping in. Okay. I almost had a freak out moment. Because that doesn't match up. But that does. <laughs> I seriously almost had a freak out moment and then I'm like, Tony, it's flipped the wrong way. Just fix it. I know, right? Laugh at my pain. It's okay. Oh, when are you come? When are you um, traveling back from France? The following Thursday. Did you 
play the egg thing at all in Splatoon today? Nope. Have you played it at all yet? Nope. Oh, okay. So, you're gonna miss my Gen Con setup stream on Wednesday. Gen Con is a four-day convention, so next Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is, is the convention. Remember, I'm teaching classes Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? So it's not next, this week, it's next week. Yes, it's not tomorrow, it's not, today's Monday, it's not in two days, it's a week from Wednesday. Mm -hmm. But Cornish Miss Saucy is going to France to uh, visit her brother, Yeah. and she's going to be gone for an entire week. And she won't have a phone, internet, she won't have Twitch. Oh, cool. She's gonna be on vacation. So she's gonna miss our Gen Con setup stream. It's gonna be me, you, Grandpa, Nicole, and Mark. <laughs> she says that's it, she's canceling her holiday. Now, you can always watch it on YouTube. Just saying. You don't have to be there. And if you missed my other Tetris stream, yes, I cut up and sewed back together all those black squares and did not just do a big black chunk. Because with the Tetris board, you need to, you actually can see each of the pixelated squares in there. So I wanted to make sure you could see that as well in my quilt. Time you come down, would you bring me a hot chocolate? Yes, I remember. Okay. Because I can't promise anything. I'm okay. Just trying to watch a movie. Which movie are you watching? I was watching Miss Mission Impossible. Okay. You don't want help? I need to go eat something. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. So next time you come down, if you remember, can you bring me hot chocolate? Yeah. Thank you, honey. Yeah, so no, it's, um, I take the shortcuts a lot with my other quilts because it doesn't make a difference, but with this one, if you look at a Tetris board, you can see the outline of each block, if it's, even if it's just black. So for the black border, I'll have that nice and solid. I'm not going to cut that up, but no, for the inside, it's got to look like a Tetris. You know me, I am all about efficiency and saving time. But not when it makes the quilt not look so good.
I'm actually, you can't really see it in the stream, but I'm using an off-white thread so that whenever you spread out those blocks, you get the hint of the white thread through there. Try to make it stand out a little bit more. When I do a lot of black, a lot of times I'll use black thread just to make sure you can't see that thread. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. So, that's so funny. So she treats her toys like little babies and takes them out to go to the bathroom. That's so funny. All right, you have to take a video of this because that's just, yeah. That is so stinking cute. do that. My parents had, uh, it's a bone shaped. Oh, so it's not, it doesn't even look like a dog. It's just a stuffy. It's just a bone stuffy. Oh my God. My, um, my parents had a foster one time. Oliver, who was the sweetest, most wonderful dog. I was so sweet. He was found um, in a shelter in North Carolina, and the person that was working at the shelter, it was a euthanasia shelter, so a person working at the shelter said there's no, this, the, the dog was set to be euthanized. Um, he was um, um, heartworm positive, so it was almost impossible for him to get adopted, so they were going to kill the dog. So the person that worked there actually contacted the dog rescue and tried to and, and asked if they could take the dog. And they're like, well, we work in Maryland, Virginia. We can't legally take a dog from North Carolina. And she said, well, can I drive the dog to you? And they're like, yeah, if you want to drive the dog to us. So that's what she did. So when she came to my, <laughs> Aaron Dells are not known for their smarts. Uh, when she came to my parents as a foster, she had this pink stuffed pig with her. And apparently the lady from the rescue shelter, from, I'm sorry, lady from the shelter bought this stuffed animal for him whenever they, she first got him into the car, she bought him this, this pink stuffed animal, this pink pig, gave it to him and he basically chewed on it and, no, pink hedgehog, it was a hedgehog, pink hedgehog the whole way up to Maryland she sat there he sat there chewing on it and he loved it well the whole time my parents had him which was almost a year while he went through all of his um heartworm treatments and everything else he loved this animal so much my mother actually had to sew it together many times and he would not like he would carry it with him everywhere it was his baby and he loved it and so finally she had to find another one online to replace it so whenever he went to his new home she actually replaced the old, worn down, broken one that she could not sew anymore with the brand new one. And every now and then she gets pictures from his new family of him with that pink hedgehog. So it was just, yeah. So when I think of an a dog with a, with a baby, I, I always think of that and it, just, it makes me very emotional. Just, yeah.
Yeah, just things we do for our animals. My husband and I try to do what we can for the rescue organizations here in our hometown. And I know my parents do a lot where they are. Of course, they are foster parents, but they also try to support and do all sorts of other things too. Oliver was a good dog. I think if, um, I actually was considering adopting him before I got Alfred because he is, was such a good dog. But I don't think Soleil would have gotten along with him at all. Alfred is much better suited for our family. And I know Oliver's family now loves him very, very much. It's coming along. So now she's the fan of mother. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Okay, so I, ha I talk a couple of times about the three foot rule. Um, Jenny Lyons, who is a quilter in California, taught me the three foot rule. Basically, <laughs> she's barking now. <coughs> if you make a mistake in a quilt, step back three feet, and if you don't see the mistake, no one's ever going to see it unless you point it out. So I've got a mistake in here. I'm not going to fix it. I'm going to show you guys what the mistake is, though, just to prove my point. So let's make sure that I can, oops, <coughs> that you can see this whole thing. Oh, it's upside down. There we go. Let me make do that. So let me actually go closer. So this is more like a two feet. Okay, three foot roll. Uh, that way. Where's my mistake? Do 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 do, 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 do. Nope. That's not it. Let me fold that up a little bit more. There you go. I think it was the glare on the red block. Yes. See, you had to look closely. So, it's not even the block. So, right here. It's not even the yellow block. It is, it's a little, it's actually two places. So if you notice right here, my seam is off a little right there. And then again, right here, see how that seam is off a little bit. So my, it's not lined up. Oh, the stream doesn't catch up. Yeah. So it doesn't quite line up in there, but it is, um, I'm not, I'm not undoing it all and fixing it. It's fine. Yeah. See, and it's, and that's like, and cause you're looking for something you're, you're like, Hey, I know she made a mistake. Let me look for something and see what it is. No. Yeah, the different, um, you may be looking at the blocks, the way they're turned. I did that on purpose. Because if I would have turned them 
this way. It's really obvious with orange. So here's two blocks, okay? Here's two orange blocks. Now, I have them put like this if one's on top of the other, because if I would have had them like this, it now all of a sudden turns into a, a cool pattern that's not separate Tetris blocks. So I actually did that on purpose. Yeah, but that's, but that's my point is that unless you point it out to someone, if you make a mistake, if you stand back, if you don't see it immediately, no one's going to see it at all, ever. Now, I could tell, but that was more like two feet, and plus something like that, it's easy for me to tell right away. But I know no one's going to see it, so it's not going to bother me. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's, and it's funny because I had never heard the three foot rule until she told me that. And I went, huh. the dog stuffy that's so funny so she doesn't baby it it to bed. Oh, that's funny. Is that what you told her when you took the, the animal from her? Oh, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the stuffy to bed. That's so funny. your dog a soothing voice so they believe what you're saying. Oh, that's so funny.
heart emoji. Every time. So this is the last time that we're going to chat for at least a week and a half. at you putting the dog toy to bed. It works. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Peace has ascended the house. Oh, that's so funny. So, did you let her take the, uh, the stuffy outside to go to the bathroom before you put it to bed? Because, you know, stuffy animal may have to pee. it when he did the pee? I mean... You know, you always make me smile and laugh every time you pop in. Whether it's uh, telling embarrassing story time, or talking about the kids or the dog. Oh, oh I can't stop picturing the dog with the, uh, with the baby. Are definitely not a Debbie Downer. All right, so I've got my Tetris quilt into my three pieces. Now I try to avoid doing this with my lap quilts because it is a pain in the butt to get them into the three pieces. Fish in a crab. Yes, yes, please. I would love to see them.
Right, the starfish and the crab are actually bath scrubbies for humans. I washed them as they were in bathroom decor, okay? She saw them and did the ooh and adopted them a few weeks. <laughs> I love that your dog adopts things. <laughs> Okay, so if you have three pieces that you need to put together, do the middle one first. Trust me, it's easier. I kept bringing them to me to cuddle, so I have, oh. <laughs> yeah, send me the photos. Or you can even pop them in chat whenever you get back. I don't have any limits to websites and pictures and stuff in chat. That stuff doesn't bother me. She looks like a fluffy, oversized teddy bear. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Okay, so... I'm not going to be able to hold up each piece as it's all together. So there is... Oh, wait, that's the bottom piece, isn't it? Dang it, I was trying to get the middle piece. Yep, that's, that's the bottom piece. All right, so here's the bottom. Uh-oh. Crap! I messed up. Two of the orange ones are turned the wrong way. Everything else is right. Oh, you know what? I think I did that before I figured out that I was alternating. Yeah, they look fine. Again, I figured it out, but if you don't know that there's a mistake, yeah, you may not see it. Okay, where is the... Here we go, there's the middle. It's an artistic choice that I made. Okay, so here is the middle piece. Because <laughs> remember, if you make mistakes that you don't want to fix, they are artistic decisions. I was telling uh, Nerd and Needle today, she says, I don't think of myself as an artist. I was like, oh, no, no, no. You're a fabric artist. You're a fiber artist. You are an artist. So as an artist, I can make artistic decisions.
Oh, I keep forgetting. I've got to weigh that uh, weighted blanket and figure out how much it's going to cost to ship to the person that commissioned it and get that shipped out. I, it's sitting right there. Like, I can see it. I'm looking at it. I'm going, I got her address like a week ago. I've got to take care of that. you might have called a faux pas on the... Exactly! There's no such thing as faux pas. Not when it comes to your artistic creations. You make you make the artistic decisions. Okay, so, so I've got three pieces. So I just pinned the bottom to the middle, so I flipped the middle around. And now I am pinning the top to the middle. know if I need to pin any panel quilts. Let me check my inventory. Because I know I'm going to pin the Tetris quilt I'm making now. The two pixel quilts, I, the two pixel eater quilts I made yesterday. The Ghostbusters Commission. And that may be it. I need to do any other let's see items panel quilts that's the nice thing about keeping a full inventory okay are there any zeros no there's no zeros so, for the first time ever, I don't have a lot to pin Wednesday morning, which is fantastic. So I actually may get to quilting my, my uh, t-shirt quilts Wednesday night. So yeah, so I will quilt this, um, the two pixel eater quilts, and the Ghostbusters quilt. And then I'll start quilting the t-shirt quilts. Fantastic. And then Thursday, if I haven't finished quilting them, I will continue quilting. And then I will start binding. Now, of course, it's also the giveaway stream. So again, you gotta be a follower to qualify for the giveaway. Subscribers get five bonus entries. And you can win a pattern of your choice from my pattern line. bit of sewing and then time for borders. Yeah, I adjusted the gray before. Definitely have to take a picture of this one. that has pins on both sides. 
You could sew them at the same time too. So when I get to the end of this, come on, get to the end. I'm just going to take this and flip it around and start sewing the other side. Because remember, I'm chain piecing. So I want something constantly in the machine and I'm going to do something with my project if I can help it. Now I'm using my scrap fabric. Did I cut the end? Yes, okay. All right, now let's take all my pins out because I do the bad thing and sew over my pins. Here comes Alfred. Really, guys? Really? Both Alfred and Marley just ran to me, and they both went up on my chair looking at me like, we love hey, you. Hey, yeah? Where's Marley's leash? Um, oh, on that. the back table, because we were trying to do it to walk him around the yard. Where's Harness? Harness is on the side table in front of the bookcase. I think I'm gonna take them for WA, okay. Are you taking them for WA, okay? Yeah. You go for a walk? Go, go, go for a walk. Go. Go. Go for a walk. go get him, go. Alfred, go. Alfred, go. Let's go. Go. <sighs> he wants cuddle time first. All right. Yeah, you go. You got some cuddle time. You want to go for a walk? All right. Go for a walk. Let's go. Go for a walk. I'll walk with you. Go. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Come on, Alfred. Let's go. Upstairs. Here he comes. stepping on the cord. I'm like, why is the iron not moving over like I like it to? This is the problem with larger quilts is they are a pain to iron. Especially because I can't have it touch the ground at all 
Because even though I vacuum every day, you never know when there's going to be dog hair or cat hair. And I am very careful with making sure no dog hair, cat hair, or dander touches any of my fabrics or quilts. Okay, main quilt is done. Oh, that's the bottom. Okay, let's see if I can get this to work. Ugh, maybe not. <laughs> Somewhat. Yeah. yeah, that's the problem with larger quilts. don't need pattern anymore or the blocks for the second quilt. There you go. You get kind of idea. See, that's why the smaller quilts are cooler to do. Okay, so I'm doing borders. Now I'm going to do my borders. I'm going to do a small white border all the way around and then a black border. Yeah, fab for what you can see, <laughs> right? So I'm thinking I'm going to do just a half of an inch of a border. So it's a very small white frame just like in the video game and then put a black border around it maybe three and a half inches because that's what these or maybe five inches because that's what these blocks are all right so i'm going to measure it is 42 inches wide by, <laughs> that bit was bad, and that bit, I like that. Dang it. Okay, no, it's good. 42 inches by 88 inches. Okay, so 42 by 88, is that really 88? Man, that's long. Oh, it's 88. Um, I had to decide what white I wanted. I was gonna do regular Kona white. Forty-four by eighty-eight. I'm calculating because the um, width of the fabric, it, this width, is forty-four inches. I'm gonna do the left and right first. Let's see if I can get away with two on the left and the right, and then one at the top and the bottom, because this is just a small... So I need one, two, three, four, five, six strips. Oh, I don't know why I still have this. I don't need it anymore. I'm gonna get it out of my way. Oh my gosh, I have room. All right, so I'm going to cut this one inch because I said I wanted my border at a half of an inch. And this is just the squaring up. This is when Tony gets all her virtual fingers and toes out to at yeah. You see the steam coming out of my ears because I'm trying to think. What am 
am I doing? There's a much easier way of doing this. See, I've only had the Stripology ruler for a few months. Still not used to it. Still not used to using it for everything else and not just quilt kits. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Hi, Doug. Welcome back. I have finished the main part of the Tetris quilt and now I am doing borders. And there was steam coming out of my head because I was trying to think. All right. I don't need that one anymore, but I do need my regular one. All right, I'm crossing my fingers that I don't have to uh, sew another strip onto this, that this is gonna work. I tried to think and nothing happened. <laughs> They're so funny. Cornish Miss <laughs> Cornish Miss Saucy was telling us about her dog that treats stuffed animals as babies and she tried to take the stuffed animal she had out to go to the bathroom. Like, to let the stuffed animal go to the bathroom. And it's a bone. Isn't that great? Lay those right there, out of the way. <laughs> they don't let me in Build-A-Bear anymore. <sighs> you guys. Oh. would help if I didn't cover up. I feel there's a story in there, Doug. Okay, Doug, you opened up the can of worms. Is there a story?
or you just being your normal funny self? Alright, is this Yeah! Fantastic. I'm happy. I don't have to sew on another piece. Make up a story I would never... <laughs> Never, ever. Dang it, I did drop pins. I'm like, I thought I felt something hit my foot. Yep, sure enough, I dropped some pins. I never like to drop pins and keep them. <laughs> Two of you. Um, I never like to leave drop pins on the floor because of the dogs. All right. Still under there from last night after I couldn't find it. There's a bunch of people that believe in you, Doug. That's okay. Long, sad, self-serving story. <laughs> you know, it really makes me happy when you guys entertain me. It makes my night go by so much faster. You guys make me so happy. Downer, it's a Dougie Downer. <laughs> oh, that's amazing.
Okay, so it is going to be impossible because this is a twin size quilt, so it's a larger quilt, to show you the completed finished thing on the actual stream, like what the whole thing looks like. So I will make sure that I take a picture and share it next Monday. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, what story is this? Is it a story that I know? Okay. Yeah, don't bring this down. Tell us a story of a, uh, tell us a funny story. Tell us a good story. One well, that's gonna make me laugh. So I told the story of Oliver earlier, one of my, um, my parents' rescue dogs. I'm trying to think if there's any other dog stories. one guy on my husband's softball team he, that is so funny he um he's just one of those guys that's lived that kind of life to where like he was in a band he like in a, like in a popular band he toured and then now he does construction and he lives with his his fiance i don't know it's some of the stories he tells this guy is so funny like he um apparently he takes pictures every time he poops and sends them to his fiance. Could you imagine getting pictures of your partner's poop on a regular basis? he tried to show me and I wouldn't look at it but Mike saw it that apparently went all the way around and then stuck up yeah we're classy on this stream of your choice on Thursday. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. You have to be a follower. <laughs> you have to be a follower. Subscribers get five bonus entries. 
And I'm going to be doing it at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursday's stream, which will either be finishing quilting or binding. stories like when he flipped the tractor over um yeah all sorts of things some stories that really, the, the band did he's one of those guys where you're like what's coming out of your mouth and why but you're laughing the entire time Goodness, um, I don't want poop pics. Not something I'm into. Hi, did you have a good walk? Did you enjoy yourself, Marley? You bet you did. <gasps> did you enjoy yourself on your walk? Is it good? Yeah. He's been so good today. He hasn't hid anywhere. He's been out and interactive the entire day. It stinks that I'm going to be gone for almost a month away from the dogs. I don't know how I'm going to handle it. Because normally if I'm going down to Maryland for a while, I'd bring them with me. Can't bring them with me this time because I'm going to Gen Con in Indianapolis first. Hi, Soleil. Are you a good girl? Did you like your walk? Is it good? Okay. Come on, Doug. Entertain us. Oh yeah, I like the way this white looks. It's gonna look just like the game. That's gonna be cool. <coughs> Ooh, bless me. I don't know where that sneeze came from. Sorry, some days the funny flows, sometimes it doesn't. I almost got into a... Why did you get into a fist fight? What did you... I saw on your Facebook that there was a bunch of cars.
What'd you do? I put my car in a car show that is heavy on Camaros and other American brands. I have a Star Wars themed smart. Okay. Which I love, by the way. The other entrance told me to get that piece of. Really? People are stupid. <laughs> we don't like them 40 cars. <sighs> I figured that one out, but the spelling was phonetic. See, and I can't believe, okay, as sweet and teddy bear-like as you are, Doug, you can be super intimidating. Like, you tower over people. That shocks me that someone would have the nerve to say that to you to your face. Seriously. He was not happy when I explained that his precious Camaro was assembled in the U.S., but many of the parts were built overseas. Yeah! Okay. Let's see... if... White piece will fit. I suspect there was some hero. Yeah, seriously. Like I said, you can be a super intimidating guy. You never, I mean, you don't mean to be. That's just your size and your stature. gonna work perfect I love it when my borders come out perfect Nice. See, but you're a true car guy. Like, you know all the ins and outs, and you know all that stuff. That stuff all goes over my head. Huh. 
Just thought it was the code name. Nice job educating them. Hmm. See, and I didn't know that. But then again, that stuff doesn't bother me. I'm a Ford girl because I like Fords. Okay, where's the second one? Did I knock it down somewhere? I put my quilt on top of it. Of course I did. Seriously. <laughs> I'm trying over there. Uh. All right, after I do this one, I've got one more border. I've got the black border. So if you Google Tetris screenshots for the classic Tetris quilt, the classic Tetris games, you had the board, and then you had the small little white strip. Yeah, over there. Um, you're so funny. You have the small white strip that, that frames it, and then black around it, and then the next piece, the score, things like that. So that's what I'm trying to simulate with this. Thanks for popping in, Cornish Miss Saucy. Have a safe travel. Have fun in France with your brother, and I will chat with you when you're back in town in like a week and a half. Oh, um, if anyone is playing Splatoon, I have changed my name, so my name in game is now Quiltoni. So that way you know it's me. So when I start um, streaming the game, you guys can find me. can tell she's a European. Toodles. You know who hasn't popped? Whoa, how's that? That's not right. hasn't popped in lately that I've been wondering about has been Amber. I haven't seen her on the stream in a while. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's go right in the middle here. So what I've done is, this is a little off, my white strip at the bottom fit perfectly with a little bit of room. My white strip at the top did not. It wasn't long enough. So what that tells me is that my quilt um, has a smaller bottom than it has a top. So I'm going to try to fix that by shrinking that top in a little bit in order to try to frame it up.
Let's do the same thing to this side. There we go. Fantastic. <sighs> I'm out of jelly beans. No, Marley, these are not for you. These are mommy jelly beans. These are mommy treats, not doggies. seen you on for a while. Of course I remember you. Ollie, right? Doug, I try to remember people. Fantastic. I, um, I may start streaming my uh, Switch gameplay in the next few weeks. Superpower. Okay, I did both sides, right? Fantastic. I thought my superpower was sewing fast. Oh, I can have multiple superpowers? Okay. I'll take that. Kind of like Superman and Supergirl, how they have multiple superpowers. Okay, so after I finish ironing, this last bit of white and I trim it. I'm going to try to do two black pieces on the right and left and then one and a half at the top and the bottom for the second border. Like I said, I, it's almost impossible for me to show you what this is going to completely look like with all these borders. So 
I will make sure I put pictures on my social media next Monday. I'm just double checking. Okay. I had the pattern released today, so I was just double checking to make sure that there were no questions or issues or problems or anything out there for the new pattern. Just like to make sure it's all good. So that's why I'm checking the computer now and then. see it a little you may be able to see a little bit in the camera so this white fabric right now is going a little wonky it's going a little wavy kind of on the edge that's perfectly normal it's perfectly fine when you add another border on there it's gonna even it out Is right is what I said yes so I'm cutting this border the same as the size of the blocks which is four and a half inches finished so it's five inches before the seams and I'm gonna need two four five six seven so each so seven strips And there must be a dog walking by. So, one, two, three. <coughs> Man, something's bothering my allergies. Four. noisy. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is combine the two for the left and the two for the right and see if that's going to be enough or if I have to add on another half piece.
Marley. Hey, leave her be. She can hear him at all when he barks, but she's kind of like hovering there, like getting ready to uh, to swipe at him in case he gets close to her. But he can't get close. He's on the ground and she's up there. Okay, Marley, the cat can't hear you and the cat doesn't want to play. Oh my gosh, Marley, stop. That's a fireball one. Oh, it's one of those red hot jelly beans. Seriously, we don't want to constantly hear you bark. I know, you're a good dog. We just don't like your bark. Oh, here comes the other one. Alfred, Marley, Alfred doesn't want to play right now. Come here, come here, Alfred. Ooh. There you go. You can say hi to the camera. You can say hi. All right, I'm crossing my fingers. This is going to be long enough and I'm not going to have to add on anything else. I'm just gonna, no, no, stay right there. I'm just gonna scoot just forward a little bit. There you go, baby. Oh, so in Splatoon, I actually graduated higher than a C minus in Splat Zone. I still stink at it. I am now a B in Tower Control, a C in Splat Zones, and an A in um, Rainmaker. Although I think I'm going to drop down to an A minus soon. I haven't been playing well lately. It's like one of those things when you're playing a game where you do something and you're like, why did I do that? Like, I seriously, I, I saw that coming. Why did I make that decision to jump in that area when I saw that bomb was being thrown there? Oh, it was the cutest thing. The, uh, the people that I stayed with at, at Con Bravo. Dang it! It's not long enough. Oh. <sighs> Sorry, I got
got to add on another half piece. So the people I was staying with at Con Bravo had their granddaughter visiting, and she was maybe four or five, obsessed with her iPad. Super shy, didn't want to talk, didn't want to do anything. Until I, I came over to her and I said, do you mind if I play my video game next to you? And she goes, okay. So I started playing Splatoon. Next thing I know, she's next to me, all curled up going, Oh, splat them. Oh, you can get them. Oh, yeah. She was very cute. Hello, big boy. So all I did to make it longer is I added on, I took another piece of fabric, cut it in half, and I will sew that on there. And then whenever I put this border on, I will use that little small section first because I don't want just like a little bit of fabric like that, have a little bit of fabric and a seam. That would not be good. So, here we are, I can sew, oops, sew that one, and then this one. So I'll use the short side first, and then the long piece. And then after I do the borders on the left and the right, I'll put the top and the bottom on. All right, baby. I'm going to have to move you because I'm going to have to sew now. I know. Okay, come here. I'll have to get my hair roller out and get all the hair off my shirt. I know. Are you my good puppy dog? You are. You can see how the camera. You're cutie, aren't you? I love you. All right, let's go put you in your bed. Ah, let's put you in your bed so Marley leaves you alone because I know you don't want to play right now. And let's clean my shirt off. And then keep working on those borders. Yeah, cat's sleeping again. I was like, oh, what's the cat doing? Yeah, she's sleeping. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and cut one more piece of black and cut the pieces for the top and the bottom. Because it's going to be one and a half pieces for the top and one and a half pieces for the bottom. For the borders. Zielden, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. how you say that. I kind of like xylophone. I am all 
almost done with this quilt. Just one more set of borders. Okay, those are my top and bottom borders. And those are my left and right borders. try this again. Round two. Now again, I've got a half a piece of fabric. So that is what I'm going to start on the top for my border. I'm going to use that to start it off with. I grabbed the wrong end. There we go. This is the side with the short end. So I'm laying that down first. Now, the reason why the white fabric had enough and I didn't have any problems, and this one does not, the white fabric is a different manufacturer. It is Kona by Robert Kaufman. So the fabric, the length of it is probably just a little bit longer. Plus, I added another inch and a half whenever I added that additional border. So later in the week, I'm not streaming again until Wednesday evening. It is going to be a quilting stream because Wednesday morning is my pinning day. So I'll be pinning all these quilts that you've seen me make over the past two weeks. And then Thursday is the giveaway stream. So if you follow me, and you pop in on the stream Thursday afternoon between 1 and 2 Eastern Standard Time. Say something in chat. Could be a hi, could be a I want to win, could be chatting with me. It doesn't matter as long as you say something in chat. Because that's how the program works that I picked up. So you got to say something. And then at 2 p.m. it will randomly pick one of those things that were said to win a pattern of your choice. Something. Yeah, exactly. Say something. And if you're a subscriber, you get five extra bonus entries. But the first step is you got to follow me. Second step is you got to be there on Thursday to say something. Even if it's just something. And the pattern of the choice does include the one I released today. The uh, God of Mischief. Now, Doug, just make sure that you come in on Thursday 
and say something. It's not going to help you today. I say this every time, but I always forget how long borders always take me. They take me a long time. I know, I know. I'm a stick in the mud. I should have done the drawing tonight, I know. But I want to make sure that I had enough time to tell people. Okay, and again, I'm using the short side. So I'm starting, there we go, with the short side of the fabric. These things take forever. Like I keep sitting here thinking, you know what, maybe I'll just call it a stream and finish these in the morning because board, you know, borders kind of tire me out and I'm like, no, you're close. Just get it done. Kind of like what I did with the Ghostbusters quilt the other night. I still haven't finished those borders it's sitting up there. I gotta finish it tomorrow though, because I've gotta get it ready for pinning Wednesday morning. My top and my bottom border. At least eating jelly beans is keeping me awake.
And again, when you're putting something on both the left and the right, or top and bottom, if you're doing both, if you have two sides, just do it at the same time. And then when you put it through the sewing machine, sew it at the same time. So when I get to the end of this strip, I'm just gonna take the other side and pop it in. decided I am going to do giveaways at every hundred followers. And then when I get to the five, then I'll do that big charity stream where everyone that donates gets a chance to win the quilt that I make in the charity stream. Jellybean was running away from me. So no more funny stories done? Nothing else to amuse us? That one was buttered popcorn. I like buttered popcorn. Splatoon. Because you know, as soon as I finish streaming, I'm going upstairs to play Splatoon. So whenever I get my um, capture card, I'm able to Splatoon, the game that I'm playing non-stop on the Switch. I love it. Splatoon 2. So whenever I get my gaming computer, the capture card, I get everything all set up the way I want to get it set up, which is going to be a few weeks. Uh, and I start streaming my gameplay, I probably will not set a schedule for that. I will probably just, um, whenever I'm playing, stream it. And then I will, will have a schedule for my sewing like I normally do. Oh, and I also decided when I get to Maryland, I'm going to do a mail stream where I open up all my mail on camera. It's like Christmas every time I go there because I'm gone for a couple weeks at a time. So, and I, and I ship everything there. I ship nothing to Canada because of all the, uh, ex the extra costs to ship things here. I would rather ship them to Maryland and then pay the duty at the border then pay all that extra shipping to send it here. All right, I'm not gonna do it anymore. I can't show you what it's gonna look like anyways because it's too big. So I will make sure that I take pictures and put it on my social media either next Monday or Tuesday. Promise. Promise. Um, yeah, so that'll be the stream tonight. I will stream Wednesday will be quilting stream. So if you actually wanna see how I do my free motion quilting, um, pop in Wednesday and yes I said duty um, 
D U T Y. Not not the poop. We're not back on the poop stories again. Um. <laughs> Uh, I can't. See, now you got me all flabbergasted. And, like always, uh, streams will be up on YouTube by the next day. I'll probably pop it up now. I don't know. I'll try. Um, so, if you ever want to go back and watch something that I've done, um, either a technique, a tip, or you miss a stream and you want to just see my smiling face, all of the streams I do, I pop up on YouTube. I am not going to put my gaming streams up on YouTube, just the sewing stuff. Um, so I'm only going to do the sewing schedule uh, and sewing on YouTube. But then people have been asking to watch me play video games, so I'm going to start streaming video games. So, oh, fantastic. Thanks, and I'm glad you became a follower. Thanks for popping in at the end. Um, if you... My next couple of streams are all going to be quilting and binding. So if you watch, um, oh, the last two streams I did, um, the Pac-Man quilt, the pixelated Pac-Man quilt, it'll give you a good idea for basic piecing, chaining, ironing, things like that. So those are good ones to watch. So, and then Wednesday I'll do the free motion quilting. Thursday will be the finishing of free motion quilting and then binding. So if you want to learn how to bind a quilt or just want to pop in and chat. So thanks again. Um, thanks again to Lulu Moons and again, I'm going to call it Zal Zilnon. Zilnon. I like Zilnon. Maybe just Non. Yeah. Thanks for the follows. I appreciate it. I love you guys. Thanks again for joining me today and I will see you all Wednesday night.